All right, let's let. Hey, hello. Fuck. This thing. Shit. I'm all tangled. God. What the? Oh, that's just me. Hey, welcome <laughs> to uh, Black Bat Comedy Presents Story Time at the Covert Cafe. Let's give it up for everybody working tonight. We got the two Joes. We got Colin behind the bar. Let's give it up to everybody working. Oh, thank you for coming out. This is Black Bat Comedy Presents. This is story time. We got, we got a hell of a show for you tonight. We're talking about candy because, oh, I don't know, holidays. Halloween around the corner. For people with children, I do not have any children. I have pets. Anybody have any pet? Just me? Okay. I <laughs> I got a dog, a cat, several chickens. You know, normal stuff. You know, and I I think uh, I think pets are way easier than children, simply because if one of mine suddenly goes missing overnight. Nobody asks any fucking, there are no questions asked. Nobody asks any, if it's a kid, they ask a lot of fucking questions. Hey, lesson learned, hashtag one to grow on. I, <laughs> tonight's show, tonight's show, we got a bunch of comics coming up. They are great, they are fantastic, and they've been tasked with having a premise of at least uh, a, a sentence that says the word candy in it of some sort. Now, if they don't have any jokes about candy, they have to come up here and say, I do not have any jokes that are relevant to the candy enterprise. And then they can go about their... See, they just have to say candy. That's the whole... The, there is no catch. There is. I mean, I'm, a, I'm not that big of an asshole. Maybe... Oh, nobody's objecting. Okay, I am that big, but <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> but they're gonna come up here and they're gonna talk about stories about candy, and they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna hopefully make. I know they're gonna make you laugh because they're on Black Pack Comedy. Black Pack Comedy presents only the finest comics in the Portland and Vancouver metro area. <laughs> but. But Black Pack also has a reputation of finding those comics that don't get the stage time they deserve. And that just means they made me laugh my ass off when I saw them at their last... Per I, I was like, fuck, I gotta have them on my show because they're funny. But I started Black Pack Comedy about oh, four, six years ago. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> I'm old. I get it. But I started it, and, and, and it's been going really well uh, forward. I've been bouncing around different productions, have a show in Vancouver sometimes now. Maybe. I'm hoping. But the one at Cover Cafe is doing really well with story time. And basically, all I ask of you is to be polite. Don't yell out to the comics. I mean, if they point at you and they go, you're an asshole, you can respond. But maybe you shouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> it might be part of their bit. Just, just be polite. Play. Let them. Let the comics present their performance the way they want to perform it. Kind of like what I'm doing now. But my whole problem is, is mm, I'm an alcoholic. I don't give a fuck. I. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I care. <laughs> but it's just be polite. Don't take any film or photos of the comics without their permission. Don't record anything. Don't heckle. Because you don't. I'm drunk right now. You don't want to face me in a heckle. I'm not polite <laughs> when you. When you fuck with my comics, that's all I'm saying. You're going to have a good night. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> oh, it's, hey, 
I don't know, but I had my first kiss when I was four. I was in kindergarten. She was six, so I was into older women back then. <laughs> but I knew she liked me because she came up and she hit me upside the head because that's what you do when you're four and six. And she said, if you follow me home, I have candy. And I was, I didn't know what a stalker was, but I was ready to be one. You know what I'm saying? I, I was raised in a house. Well, I was hypoglycemic as a child. I, well, I'm still hyper. Shut up. I should not have candy. It makes me oh, very, very excited and very, very energetic. I had a Mars bar before I came up here. Um. <laughs> But I, she said, if you follow me home, I can So I was like, I was doing my best stalker impression. I was like following it. I was, I was trying not to get too close, but I had short, fat, stubby, four-year-old legs. I was a chubby. I was husky. That's what they called it. It was a husky child. <laughs> that just meant I was fat. Shut up. I couldn't keep up with her pace but i was trying and i was trying to be sneaky i was hiding behind telephone poles and but i was not cuz i was sticking part of me was not visible is what i'm saying but i followed her home we got to her house and she at 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 at, at a garage she, my mom is home i have to sneak you in so now i'm breaking and entering Committing several felonies at four. <laughs> but I was on board. She was promising candy. And I was like, yes, I need. I want candy. I do not have candy as a child. I was like, I need. And we went to her garage. And she had this bag of jelly beans. I had never had. I was four. I had never had jelly beans. I had jelly, and I had had beans, but I had never had both of them together. And I was like, oh, and, and with each, she was like, come here, and I, and with each, she was feeding me jelly beans, and with each bean, she gave me a kiss. And I was like, oh, candy and human contact, that doesn't hurt. I am so on board with it. I was like, just keep, and she, she just kept dropping on me, kiss, oh, I'm, I'm like, oh, oh, if a four-year-old could get an erection, I would have. I did not know what that meant then, though, which is a good thing. <laughs> but it took me an hour to go through that bag of jelly beans. And I was like, you're out of candy. And she went, yes. And I was like, I have to go now, as every good man should. I, <laughs> that's terrible. Shut up. I, I said, I got to go. I'm late. I got to get home. I'm going to, I'm going to get beat. But I didn't care. I did, maybe a little. Um, but before I left the door, she grabbed my chin and she held it there, and she looked me right in the eyes. She said, you know, I'm going to smack you upside the head tomorrow. And I was like, I hope so. <laughs> and then she kissed me right on the lips, and I was like, oh, I was floating all the way home. I was like dancing while I was running, cause, but it looked like I was dancing because I was fat. I... I got up to my house, and I, was, I saw on the porch, my grandma was sitting out on the porch, and I just saw her mouth the words, go get me something to beat you with. Because <laughs> that's how we learned back then. That's how we learned. That's, it made me the man I am today, agoraphobic and afraid of women with candy. I like, that's a true story. I still can't eat. I did not eat jelly beans until I was 38. And I was tied down to a bed and force fed them against my will. 
I mean, only the first one. The rest, I was like, yeah, I'm on board. <laughs> okay, was that too far? I, I see a look of trepidation in the yard. They're like, I don't know. <laughs> Do you guys not like candy? <laughs> That's. Or you just you just don't think I should be tied up while enjoying it. I don't know, this cable's trying to tie me up right now. I'm trying to finagle. I don't, hey, I know it's thinner than me. Shut up. <laughs> I'm still that fat chubby kid, I'm sure. Mm. Oh, but candy is good. I like candy. Halloween candy. One of the things that irritates me about Halloween, because I am a cannabis Enjoy, I, I call it cannabis because that's its name, right? I mean, if I'm walking down the street and somebody goes, Hey, Chad! I'm not going to turn around. It's not my fucking name. But if they go, Hey, Chad, we got weed. I will be Chad for that moment. <laughs> I, <laughs> but I hate this story that goes around every Halloween where people go, Oh, watch out. These people who use cannabis are going to Give your kids edibles. Do you know how much that shit costs? I'm not giving it away. I got shit in my bag. I'm not handing that out to motherfuckers. I will give you a joint before I give you my candy. <laughs> candy lasts way longer than a joint. i just saying. Oh. Oh, this is Blackback Comedy. We're going to get our next. Are you ready? Are you, are you ready for the next comic to come up here?